The Komodo dragon, Varanus komodoensis, also known as the Komodo monitor, is a species of lizard found in the Indonesian islands of Komodo, Rinka, Flores, and Jili Motang. A member of the monitor lizard family Varanidae, it is the largest extant species of lizard, growing to a maximum length of 3 meters, 10 feet, in rare cases and weighing up to approximately 70 kilograms, 150 pounds. As a result of their size, these lizards dominate the ecosystems in which they live. Komodo dragons hunt and ambush prey including invertebrates, birds, and mammals. It has been claimed that they have a venomous bite, there are two glands in the lower jaw which secrete several toxic proteins. The biological significance of these proteins is disputed, but the glands have been shown to secrete an anticoagulant. Komodo dragons group behavior in hunting is exceptional in the reptile world. The diet of big Komodo dragons mainly consists of Timor deer, though they also eat considerable amounts of carrion. Komodo dragons also occasionally attack humans. Mating begins between May and August, and the eggs are laid in September, as many as 20 eggs are deposited at a time in an abandoned megapode nest or in a self-dug nesting hole. The eggs are incubated for 7 to 8 months, hatching in April, when insects are most plentiful. Young Komodo dragons are vulnerable and therefore dwell in trees, safe from predators, and cannibalistic adults. They take 8 to 9 years to mature and are estimated to live up to 30 years. Komodo dragons were first recorded by Western scientists in 1910. Their large size and fearsome reputation make them popular zoo exhibits. In the wild, their range has contracted due to human activities, and they are listed as vulnerable by the IUCN. They are protected under Indonesian law, and Komodo National Park was founded in 1980 to aid protection efforts. Attacks on humans are rare, but Komodo dragons have been responsible for several human fatalities, in both the wild and in captivity. According to data from Komodo National Park spanning a 38-year period between 1974 and 2012, there were 24 reported attacks on humans, five of them fatal. Most of the victims were local villagers living around the National Park reports of attacks include, 1974, a visiting Swiss tourist, Baron Rudolf Redding von Bibirage, who disappeared on Komodo Island, may have been killed and eaten by Komodo dragons. 2001, a Komodo dragon attacked Phil Bronstein, an investigative journalist and former husband of actress Sharon Stone, in the Los Angeles Zoo. 2007, a Komodo dragon killed an eight-year-old boy on Komodo Island. 2008, a group of five scuba divers were stranded on the beach of Rinka Island, and were attacked by Komodo dragons. After two days, the divers' ordeal ended when they were picked up by an Indonesian rescue boat. 2009, Mohamed Anwar, a 31-year-old Komodo Island local, was killed by two dragons after he fell from a tree when he was picking sugar apples. 2009, Maine, a national park guide stationed on Rinka Island, was ambushed and bitten by a Komodo dragon which had walked into his office and lay under his desk. Despite suffering some injuries, the guide survived. May 2017, Lon Li Ala, a 50-year-old Singaporean tourist, or Lo Li Ike, said to be 68, was attacked by a Komodo dragon on Komodo Island. The victim survived the attack, but his left leg was severely injured. November 2017, Yosef Pasca, a local construction worker, was attacked on Rinka Island and taken to Labuan Bajo by speedboat for treatment. Komodo Island, Indonesia Komodo dragons have shark-like teeth and poisonous venom that can kill a person within hours of a bite. Komodo dragon attacks are still rare, experts note. The Komodo dragon prefers hot and dry places and typically lives in dry, open grassland, savanna, and tropical forest at low elevations. As an ectotherm, it is most active in the day, although it exhibits some nocturnal activity. Komodo dragons are solitary, coming together only to breed and eat. They are capable of running rapidly in brief sprints up to 20 km per hour, 12 miles per hour, diving up to 4.5 m, 15 feet, and climbing trees proficiently when young through use of their strong claws. To catch out of reach prey, the Komodo dragon may stand on its hind legs and use its tail as a support. As it matures, its claws are used primarily as weapons, as its great size makes climbing impractical. 
For shelter, the Komodo dragon digs holes that can measure from 1 to 3 m, 3.3 to 9.8 feet, wide with its powerful forelimbs and claws. Because of its large size and habit of sleeping in these burrows, it is able to conserve body heat throughout the night and minimize its basking period the morning after. The Komodo dragon hunts in the afternoon, but stays in the shade during the hottest part of the day. These special resting places, usually located on ridges with cool sea breezes, are marked with droppings and are cleared of vegetation. They serve as strategic locations from which to ambush deer. As a result of their size, Komodo dragons dominate the ecosystems in which they live. They are carnivores, although they have been considered as eating mostly carrion, they will frequently ambush live prey with a stealthy approach. When suitable prey arrives near a dragon's ambush site, it will suddenly charge at the animal at high speeds and go for the underside or the throat. Komodo dragons do not deliberately allow the prey to escape with fatal injuries but try to kill prey outright using a combination of lacerating damage and blood loss. They have been recorded as killing wild pigs within seconds, and observations of Komodo dragons tracking prey for long distances are likely misinterpreted cases of prey escaping an attack before succumbing to infection. Komodo dragons have been observed knocking down large pigs and deer with their strong tails. They are able to locate carcasses using their keen sense of smell, which can locate a dead or dying animal from a range of up to 9.5 kilometers, 5.9 miles. Komodo dragons eat by tearing large chunks of flesh and swallowing them whole while holding the carcass down with their forelegs. For smaller prey up to the size of a goat, their loosely articulated jaws, flexible skulls, and expandable stomachs allow them to swallow prey whole. The undigested vegetable contents of a prey animal's stomach and intestines are typically avoided. Copious amounts of red saliva the Komodo dragons produce help to lubricate the food, but swallowing is still a long process, 15, 20 minutes to swallow a goat. A Komodo dragon may attempt to speed up the process by ramming the carcass against a tree to force it down its throat, sometimes ramming so forcefully, the tree is knocked down. A small tube under the tongue that connects to the lungs allows it to breathe while swallowing. After eating up to 80% of its body weight in one meal, it drags itself to a sunny location to speed digestion, as the food could rot and poison the dragon if left undigested in its stomach for too long. Because of their slow metabolism, large dragons can survive on as few as 12 meals a year. After digestion, the Komodo dragon regurgitates a mass of horns, hair, and teeth known as the gastric pellet, which is covered in malodorous mucus. After regurgitating the gastric pellet, it rubs its face in the dirt or on bushes to get rid of the mucus, suggesting it does not relish the scent of its own excretions. In late 2005, researchers at the University of Melbourne speculated the Parenti, Varanus gigantus, other species of monitors, and agamids may be somewhat venomous. The team believes the immediate effects of bites from these lizards were caused by mild envenomation. Bites on human digits by a lace monitor, V. varius, a Komodo dragon, and a spotted tree monitor, V. scalaris, all produced similar effects, rapid swelling, localized disruption of blood clotting, and shooting pain up to the elbow, with some symptoms lasting for several hours. In 2009, the same researchers published further evidence demonstrating Komodo dragons possess a venomous bite. MRI scans of a preserved skull showed the presence of two glands in the lower jaw. The researchers extracted one of these glands from the head of a terminally ill dragon in the Singapore Zoological Gardens, and found it secreted several different toxic proteins. The known functions of these proteins include inhibition of blood clotting, lowering of blood pressure, muscle paralysis, and the induction of hypothermia, leading to shock and loss of consciousness in envenomated prey. As a result of the discovery, the previous theory that bacteria were responsible for the deaths of Komodo victims was disputed. Other scientists have stated that this allegation of venom glands has had the effect of underestimating the variety of complex roles played by oral secretions in the biology of reptiles, produced a very narrow view of oral secretions and resulted in misinterpretation of reptilian evolution. According to these scientists reptilian oral secretions contribute to many biological roles other than to quickly dispatch prey. These researchers concluded that, Calling all in this clade venomous implies an overall potential danger that does not exist, misleads in the assessment of medical risks, and confuses the biological assessment of squamate biochemical systems. 
As with other varanids, Komodo dragons have only a single ear bone, the stapes, for transferring vibrations from the tympanic membrane to the cochlea. This arrangement means they are likely restricted to sounds in the 400 to 2000 Hz range, compared to humans who hear between 20 and 20,000 Hz. They were formerly thought to be deaf when a study reported no agitation in wild Komodo dragons in response to whispers, raised voices, or shouts. This was disputed when London Zoological Garden employee Joan Proctor trained a captive specimen to come out to feed at the sound of her voice, even when she could not be seen. The Komodo dragon can see objects as far away as 300 m, 980 feet, but because its retinas only contain cones, it is thought to have poor night vision. It can distinguish colors, but has poor visual discrimination of stationary objects. As with many other reptiles, the Komodo dragon primarily relies on its tongue to detect, taste, and smell stimuli, with the vomeronasal sense using the Jacobson's organ, rather than using the nostrils. With the help of a favorable wind and its habit of swinging its head from side to side as it walks, a Komodo dragon may be able to detect carrion from 4, 9.5 km, 2.5, 5.9 m, away. It only has a few taste buds in the back of its throat. Its scales, some of which are reinforced with bone, have sensory plagues connected to nerves to facilitate its sense of touch. The scales around the ears, lips, chin, and solace of the feet may have three or more sensory plagues. Researchers have isolated a powerful antibacterial peptide from the blood plasma of Komodo dragons, VK25. Based on their analysis of this peptide, they have synthesized a short peptide dubbed DRGN1 and tested it against multidrug resistant, MDR, pathogens. Preliminary results of these tests show that DRGN1 is effective in killing drug-resistant bacterial strains and even some fungi. It has the added observed benefit of significantly promoting wound healing in both uninfected and mixed biofilm-infected wounds.